Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing another makeup tutorial using the ABH Norvina Volume 3 palette. They did come out with three in total, but obviously your girl can't afford all three because these did retail for $65. So I picked out the one that got my attention the most, which was Volume 3, like I said, and you get 25 shades in here, and these shades are so, so, so beautiful, and you get some neon shades in here, which I I unfortunately didn't play with today because I don't know I was kind of on like this sunflower girl vibe if you couldn't tell and I'm absolutely obsessed with how my look came out and yeah you guys this was also kind of like a first impressions for me as well because I hadn't really played with the palette since I bought it and I have to say they blend really really well like I put in no effort into blending and it was just like which is every girl's dream to have a blended eyeshadow without putting too much effort into it am i right or am i right so yeah you guys this is the look i came up with like i said i hope you enjoy this tutorial and make sure to check out my other tutorials i also did a look using the morphe 3503 palette so i will list that in the description box as well and yes let's get started with the tutorial so i'm going to be starting off with my eyes today i'm going to be taking my morphe concealer and i'm just going to be applying that all over my lids and blending it out with my beauty blender and that's going to be our base for today After we have a nice smooth surface, I'm going to be taking my Norvina Volume 3 palette and I'm going to be taking that yellow shade right there and just any fluffy blending brush, I'm using my Makeup Shack T11 and that is going to be our transition so we want to place it a little bit above our crease and blending it back and forth in circular motions all the way up to our brow and then after I'm done doing that, I'm going to go in with a second layer of that yellow and and deepen it up just a little bit more next I'm going in with the shade D1 and taking a smaller blending brush I'm using my morphe m573 I'm going to be applying that in my crease and my outer corner and blending it really well back and forth in a circular motions again using a really light hand I find that colors blend the best when you use a light hand Next, I'm going in with the shade E2, and I'm going to be taking a flat blending brush. This is my Morphe M433, and I'm just going to be packing that slowly into my outer corner, kind of going in dabbing motions, and then blending it into my crease just a little bit. And then here I'm going back in with D1 and blending out the colors one more time just so we have a really nice blended look. And then just taking any makeup wipe, I'm going to be cleaning up the edges because I kind of wanted a nice sharp look. And then for our lid, I'm going to be taking this beautiful shimmery color. This is the shade D2 and just any flat shader brush. This is my Morphe M153. And I did go ahead and spray it with a little bit of a Fix Plus. And I'm going to be applying that all over my lids. And this look totally was giving me like sunflower girl vibes and I kind of thought about drawing a little sunflower on my lids as well. But I was like, hmm, better not. Knowing myself, I am totally going to mess it up and it's going to ruin the whole look. But if you want and you can be that extra and draw like a cute little sunflower on your face or something, I thought that would have been totally cute. And then for my mascara, you already know what it is. I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and I'm just going to be applying one coat of that onto my lashes before we go in with falsies. <music> 
And then I did go ahead and apply some winged liner today. I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I'm just going to be doing a really thin line. And the makeup gods were like totally with me today. Because I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to do a small little wing. And both sides ended up being small and cute and even. So thank you for that. And then for my lashes today, I'm going to be taking the number 9 Lux Cashmere Lashes by Eyelore. And I'm really obsessed with these drugstore lashes lately. These Eyelore ones are like totally poppin' poppin'. It's like the only ones I have been reaching for the past 4 or 5 times I have been doing my makeup. And so far, they're holding up pretty good. So... Yeah, you guys, I'm actually really impressed with these lashes. On the box, it says up to 15 times wear, so we'll see how true that is. And I'm so sorry for that. I'm just, like, totally obsessed with my spooky nails. I literally take pictures and videos of it, like, every chance I get because your girl ended up paying, like, $150, and I'm gonna show off my cute little spooky nails, okay? Okay. <laughs> moving on to the face i don't know why i'm doing that but i decided to keep it in because i feel like i look so snatched and cute anyway i'm taking my tasha the silk canvas primer and i'm just going to be applying that all over my face so we have a nice smooth surface to work with And of course, for foundation, I'm going to be taking my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This is my all-time favorite foundation. I always come back to this one. She is so full coverage, so long-lasting, and she doesn't look cakey. She doesn't get patchy. She is just perfection. And for my brush today, I'm actually using my Marc Jacobs The Face 2 brush, which is so weird because I've had this brush for years and I totally forgot about it. And the only reason I reached for it today was because all my other brushes were dirty and I forgot how much I love this brush. It applies your foundation so smooth and evenly and it's just amazing. I don't know why I ever stopped reaching for her. But anyway, moving on, I'm just going to be taking my same Morphe concealer and I'm just going to be applying that under my eyes, on the sides of my nose, on my upper lip, and down the bridge of my nose. And to set everywhere we applied concealer, I'm going to be taking my Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to be taking my Charlotte Tilbury powder and I need to get a new one because your girl hit pan and I think I'm going to get shade 2 next time. I believe there's three shades. There's light, medium, dark and yes, this one is like a little too white on me. All throughout Horror Nights, I kind of felt like I was a little too white in all my pictures I was taking. Next, I'm going to be bronzing up my face, and to do so, I'm going to be using my Tom Ford bronzer and just taking any angled brush. I'm going to be bronzing up my cheeks and my forehead.
And for a blush today, I know, I know, I'm using blush. Who am I? I'm taking a Luminoso by Milani, and I'm just going to be applying that with a small duo fiber brush. I'm so funny because I buy blush all the time and I really do like blush but I just never reach for it because every time I do my makeup I'm just like mm, I don't need it but then I'll have those random days like today where I'll be like oh my gosh I need blush and I'm like totally obsessed but I'll never reach for it I probably won't wear blush for another like five months I'm so weird and then here I'm just contouring my nose using the same Tom Ford bronzer that we used earlier and then after that I'm moving on to highlighter which this is my new obsession cookie by a benefit she is so blinding so pigmented and it just glows so beautifully like when the sun or light hits it is just beautiful and I'm just going to be applying that to the high points of my cheeks my nose and my lip And then moving on to the lips, I'm going to be taking this lip liner by Essence in the shade Satin Mauve and I'm just going to be aligning my lips with that and filling them in just a little bit which is so funny because my lip pencil and the lipstick I go in with, like the colors have nothing to do with each other. I don't even know what I was thinking but it ended up looking pretty good so I guess I did a good job. And for my lipstick, I'm going to be taking the Superstay Ink Crayon by Maybelline, and this is in the shade Enjoy the View. And I totally failed at applying this lipstick on camera because I wasn't even paying attention how it was totally cut off and not in frame. Good thing we all know how to apply lipstick. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm just going to be taking the first two shades we used in the look, and I'm just going to be buffing that on my lower lash line. And last but not least, of course, we're just going to be applying some mascara to our lower lashes and we are all done, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you liked this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.